It's a piece by Leonard Cohen called How to Speak Poetry. Take the word butterfly. To use this word, it is not necessary to make the voice weigh less than an ounce or equip it with small dusty wings. It is not necessary to invent a sunny day or a field of daffodils. It is not necessary to be in love or to be in love with butterflies. The word butterfly is not a real butterfly. There is the word and there is the butterfly. If you confuse these two items, people have the right to laugh at you. Do not make so much of the word. Are you trying to suggest that you love butterflies more perfectly than anyone else or really understand their nature? The word butterfly is merely data. It's not an opportunity for you to hover, soar, befriend flowers, symbolize beauty and frailty, or in any way impersonate a butterfly. Do not act out the words. Never act out the words. Never try leave the floor when you talk about flying. Never close your eyes and jerk your head to one side when you talk about death. Do not fix your burning eyes on me when you speak about love. If you want to impress me when you speak about love, put your hand in your pocket or under your dress and play with yourself. If ambition and the hunger for applause have driven you to speak about love, you should learn how to do it without disgracing yourself or the material. What is the expression which the age demands? The age demands no expression whatever. We have seen photographs of bereaved Asian mothers. We are not interested in the agony of your fumbled organs. There is nothing you can show in your face that can match the horror of this time. Do not even try. You will only hold yourself up to the scorn of those who have felt things deeply. We have seen the newsreels of humans in the extremities of pain and dislocation. Everyone knows you're eating well and you're even being paid to stand up there. You're playing to people who have experienced catastrophe. This should make you very quiet. Speak the words, convey the data and step aside. Everyone knows you're in pain. You cannot tell the audience everything you know about, about love in every line of love you speak. Step aside and they will know what you know because they know it already. You have nothing to teach them. You are not more beautiful than they are. You are not wiser. Do not shout at them. Do not force a dry entry. That is bad sex. If you show the lines of your genitals, then deliver what you promise. And remember that people do not really want an acrobat in bed. What is our need? Our need is to be close to the natural man, to be close to the natural woman. Do not pretend that you're a beloved singer with a vast loyal audience which has followed the ups and downs of your life to this very moment. The bombs and the flamethrowers and all that shit have destroyed more than just the trees and the villages. They've also destroyed the stage. Did you think your profession would escape this general destruction? There is no more stage. There are no more footlights. You are among the people. Be modest, speak the words, convey the data and step aside. Be by yourself, be in your own room. Don't put yourself on. This is an interior landscape. It is inside, it is private. Respect the privacy of the material. These pieces were written in silence. The courage of the play is to speak them. The discipline of the play is not to violate them. Let the audience feel your love of privacy, even though there is no privacy. Be good whores. The poem is not a slogan. It cannot advertise you. It cannot promote your reputation for sensitivity. You are not a stud or a lady killer. All this junk about gangsters of love. You are students of discipline. Do not act out the words. The words die when you act them out. They wither and we are left with nothing but your ambition. Speak the words with the exact precision with which you would check a laundry list. Do not become emotional about the lace blouse. Do not get a hard on when you say panties. Do not get all shivery just because of a towel. The sheets should not provoke a dreamy expression about the eyes. There is no need to weep into the handkerchief. The socks are not there to remind you of strange distant voyages. It's just your laundry. It's just your clothes. Don't peep through them, just wear them. The poem is nothing but information. It is the constitution of an inner country. If you declaim it and blow it up with noble intentions, then you are no better than the politicians whom you despise. You are just someone waving a flag and making the cheapest kind of appeal of emotional patriotism. Think of the words as science, not art. 
They are a report. You are speaking before a meeting of the Explorers Club of the National Geographic Society. These people know all the risks of mountain climbing. They honour you by taking this for granted. If you rub their faces in it, it's an insult to their hospitality. Tell them about the height of the mountain, the equipment you used. Be specific about the surfaces and the time it took to scale it. Do not work the audiences for gasps and sighs. If you are worthy of gasps and sighs, it will not be from your appreciation of the event, but from theirs. It will be in the statistics, not the trembling of a voice or the cutting of the air with your hands. It will be in the data and the quiet organisation of your presence. Avoid the flourish. Do not be afraid to be weak. Do not be ashamed to be tired. You look good when you're tired. You look like you could go on forever. Now, come into my arms. You are the image of my beauty. It's a constant reminder of what to do and what not to do. I try to come back to Leonard's words because I really feel the truth in them.